please rise and remain standing for the graduate procession and for the singing of our national anthem.
Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons command, car ton bras s'est porte et les pays il s'est porté la croix. Ton histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits. God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Everyone, please be seated. Thank you, Kevin Rivette, for singing O Canada. Hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer Haley. I'm the Associate Dean of the St. Lawrence College Cornwall campus, and I am honored to be your Master of Ceremonies for our 2019 convocation. I would like to begin with an acknowledgement of territory on behalf of all who are gathered here. With good minds and hearts united as one, let us acknowledge and celebrate these traditional lands as a gathering place of the First Peoples who have been the guardians of Mother Earth since time immemorial. We pay homage to them and express our gratitude for their gifts to this community as we share this space with respect for all. I would, like, I would now like to introduce our platform party. I ask each of them to stand as they are introduced and remain standing. President and CEO, Glenn Volbrecht. Board of Governors Vice Chair, Bruce Tessier. Senior Vice President Academic, Eileen DeCourcy. Registrar, Rick Palmer. Our Cornwall faculty members. Our platform party. Today we celebrate the collective effort that has given us the class of 2019. We would like to recognize all of those who have supported our graduates, especially the parents, spouses, children, family, friends, college staff, and the St. Lawrence College community for the guidance and unwavering support that has helped make this day possible for our graduates. In addition, I would like to say a special welcome to our many community members and college supporters who are also joining us today. At this time, it is my pleasure to call upon Glenn Volbrecht, President and CEO of St. Lawrence College, to say a few words. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, you know, this is convocation. You should be really excited. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. A minus. So welcome parents, relatives, friends, faculty, staff, distinguished guests, and most important, welcome members of the St. Lawrence College graduating class of 2019. Today is the most important day of the year for you and for us. Convocation and the awarding of our SLC credential is a symbol of student success, and it's the entire reason we exist as an organization. It is both an honor and a privilege to address you as graduates. 
Every year, as I prepare for convocation, I think about what I should say to the graduating class and what advice I can offer you. I spend hours agonizing over this, when in reality, no matter what I say, you will likely forget most of it. This is a huge day for each of you. You have worked hard to get here, studied, written exams, delivered presentations, finished work placements, and perhaps taken additional courses in order to graduate. You have earned the right to cross this stage and be recognized for your accomplishments. And as you do, remember that today, your future is a blank slate on which anything can be written. I'm fairly certain that during your time at SLC, most of you will have had support along the way. Whether from family, friends, or someone from the college, please take a few moments to acknowledge those who have helped get you to this place today. To our faculty, staff, and our entire team here at SLC, I say thank you. Thank you for putting students first, for getting to know our students by their name in the first few days of the semester, for listening to their challenges that they may be having, and helping them navigate daily life in higher ed, and for ultimately helping our students to realize their dreams. I'm proud to call you my colleagues and friends, and I would like to personally thank our entire SLC team for being so passionate about making a difference each and every day. Please folks, let's give all these uh, uh, folks a big round of applause. Each year at Convocation, I like to offer some advice to the graduating class. Usually I pick a theme, research it, and then share my perspective. This year, however, I thought I would switch it up. In keeping with the latest trends of social media, quick messages, and being brief, I've decided to give you my top five pieces of advice that I have shared over the years. So here goes. Are you ready? Number five, confidence. Being confident in your abilities is one of the most important ingredients for your success. There's plenty of research that supports the fact that the beliefs we hold about ourselves and our abilities direct our actions and shape our lives. In study after study, confidence has been shown to make the difference between success and failure. Building confidence is a choice and a skill, and it requires consistent effort and the courage to take risks. Each of you here today had the courage to pursue your education and follow your dreams. Your faculty have helped prepare you for success, but now it's up to you. Believe that you have what it takes, know what you are made of, now go out and bring your dreams to life. Number four, the world needs you. Climate change, social inequality, protectionism, the possible collapse of society as we know it. We are at a critical point in the history of our civilization and the world needs you. It needs all the things you've learned here at SLC. Teamwork, collaboration, innovation, critical thinking, grit. It needs your knowledge, your skills, and your unbridled enthusiasm and optimism. The challenges of society today and in the decades ahead will be much different than the challenges of yesterday. However, as we all know, challenges also represent opportunities. And I know that each one of you has the confidence and skills to rise to the occasion, to make a difference and truly make the world a better place. Nelson Mandela said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Yes, graduating class of 2019, the world needs you. Number three, make time to listen to country music. N no, not really. Let's go to number two. Actually, I like country music. Positivity and optimism will take you far. Positivity and optimism are, in my opinion, critical to leading a successful, happy, and fulfilling life. For those of you that know me, you know that I'm definitely a glass half full person. As proof, I've been a Toronto Maple Leaf hockey fan since I was five years old. <laughs> Which, by the way, is the last time they won the Stanley Cup. Each and every year, I continue to believe that this is the year they will win it all. Although now as I say this out loud, I recognize this is probably a poor example of the results that positivity can bring. It's not always easy to be positive, 
and life will toss you difficult challenges. However, with a positive attitude and a sense of optimism, you will view those challenges as opportunities, look to them for what you can learn, and over overcome any obstacle that may come your way. You cannot underestimate the power of positive thinking, opening your mind, and being an optimist. Research indicates that it takes four positive experiences to overcome a negative one. It also shows that positive people are happier, more creative, more productive, and have more energy. If you focus on these qualities, along with all the skills that you've acquired at SLC, you really can do anything you set your mind to. Which brings me to the number one piece of advice that I can give you. Now remember, this is based on over 20 years of experience in higher education, and in the past seven years in my current role, I've personally congratulated close to 20,000 students that have crossed this stage. So given all that, my number one piece of advice to you, the graduating class of 2019, is very simple. Get a job. <laughs> yes. All the parents are saying yes. In all seriousness, get a job, start your own business, or continue your academic journey. Regardless of the path you take, this one piece of advice will allow you to, a stage to put everything that you have learned together. Your confidence, positivity and optimism, and all the skills that you've attained at SLC will enable you to succeed and to do great things. Your job is the platform for figuring out what you most love to do, finding your passions, and making a difference. And when you put all of this together, you really will change the world in your own special way. So in closing, I want to leave you with one of my favorite quotes by comedian, actress, and writer, Ellen DeGeneres. Follow your passion, stay true to yourself, and never follow someone else's path. Unless you're in the woods, and you're lost, and you see a path, then by all means, you should probably follow that. So when your name is called and you stand and prepare to walk across this stage, take a breath, pause, and reflect on your accomplishments. Follow your dreams, pursue your passions, and say hello to your future. Congratulations, class of 2019. I wish you all the best. I would now like to introduce Bruce Tessier, Vice Chair of the St. Lawrence College Board of Governors, to deliver greetings from the board. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. President Volbrecht, graduates, honored guests. It is my privilege to bring greetings today on behalf of the Board of Governors of St. Lawrence College. Graduates, you have received an outstanding educational experience in a caring environment provided by dedicated academic and administrative staff and supported by an involved community. You've put many hours of hard, hard work and probably more than a few long nights of study and worry as you made your way through your program. Your hard work and experience has brought you to this day. You begin the next stage of your life well prepared to take on the future. All of us here today are extremely proud of you and excited of what lies ahead for you. We look forward to watching your success and hearing about your accomplishments in the years ahead. On, on behalf of the Board of Governors, I want to extend my thanks to President Volabrek and the college team. And I thank you graduates for choosing St. Lawrence College as your path to reach your goals. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, we now welcome you to enjoy a brief video showcasing some of our proud St. Lawrence College alumni.
lots of time in the student association and spending a lot of time studying. Lots and lots of time studying. After the initial overwhelming feeling and, and really taking it all in, I felt at home and from there I've never really left. I remember the first time I walked into the classroom because my goals and dreams are uh, coming together. Orientation, going in and being like, oh my god, this is very exciting, very nerve-wracking, like I'm taking like the steps to become a paramedic, which is what I've always wanted to be. It was uh, inspirational and motivating and it was exactly what I needed at that time in my life. I remember thinking like it was going to be you know, a long four years, but it really went a lot quicker than I thought. I was a much better student than my high school record I ever, ever showed. I think I learned that, truthfully, I'm, I'm capable of a lot more. That I could uh, push myself further than I ever expected. I learned about working uh, in a team uh, together and collaborate with other people. I met some great professors who I still keep in touch with and who I consider my mentors. I think the most important person I met would, would have to be my wife. My husband, I met a lot of great friends, a lot of great references, lots of people that I, I hold dear today. One of my preceptors worked at the college itself, so I got to know them a little better. I have four, four students I believe, that were in my class that are graduated with me working. So not only did we practice together, we're now working together, doing real life calls, going with these guys through school and not working, it's, it's pretty awesome. There was a previous grad that came and spoke to our class about how she got to where she is now. It was really impactful. I'll never forget my uh, fellow classmates. We were a really tight-knit group and we continue to be friends some 30 years later. I'm still able to talk to people who are in policing, hang out with and, uh, and be friends with um, those same people that I went to school with 10 years ago. I still have good close personal relationships with those I went to college with back in 1981. That's 40 years ago. <laughs> I still come back. I walk the halls occasionally. You know, you're always welcome back here. This is your home. You miss it at the same time, but you know this is always your place to come back to. My advice to new grads would be remember your experiences, remember who you are, and remember that you are stepping into the workforce and you are representing St. Lawrence College. You had dreams, you had aspirations, you had goals, and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do them. Just keep pushing, keep going. Hold on to your seats, this is quite a ride. Follow your passion. You have what it takes to do what you want to do and what you're passionate about. If you're freshly graduated, I'd recommend sleep. Since you're finished your exams, you can take a rest now. Take your time. It doesn't matter when you start, it doesn't matter when you finish, just live your life, trust the process, and it will come to you. It's actually one of the first things that we ask, like when, we working, when we're working with partners, is what school did you go from? We're all connected in one way or another, and usually SLC is one of the main reasons as to why we're connected. So when everybody's working together, this is what we can accomplish. A piece of advice I would give to the graduation class is you're never too old to learn. Continue on your education, and don't forget, inspire to change, and power to live. Congratulations, class of 2019. You did it. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Good to have you in the family. See you soon. Congratulations, class of 2019. Congratulations, class of 2019. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2019. Congratulations, class of 2019. You did it. Welcome to the alumni. So as you've seen, St. Lawrence Co College alumni are making a large impact in our communities. Now I'd like to ask each person in the audience who's a former student or graduate of St. Lawrence College, if you are able, please stand and raise your, or raise your hand. You are a piece of the fabric that makes up St. Lawrence College and our greater communities. We all come together to celebrate the outstanding achievement of the class of 2019. So please be seated. 
We will now shine the spotlights on our graduates as they cross the stage and receive their credentials. Student awards for outstanding achievements will be announced during the presentation of graduates. These are faculty awards and awards sponsored by external organizations and individuals, some of whom are here to join us today. On behalf of St. Lawrence College, I would like to congratulate our award recipients and thank our many generous donors. Your interest and support of our graduates is very much appreciated. During the presentation of the graduates, we ask that you remain at your seats. Professional photographs will be taken to capture the moment. If you stand to take a photo from your seat, please be mindful of the view of others. We welcome all guests in attendance to celebrate the success of all graduates by applauding everyone as they cross the stage. Glenn Volbrick, President and CEO of St. Lawrence College, will stand and congratulate graduates before they receive their credential from our registrar, Rick Palmer. Graduating from the School of Applied Science and Computing, Computer Networking and Technical Support, Ontario College Diploma, Zachary Antoine. With distinction. Rupali Baga. With distinction. Derek Bancroft, with distinction. Ashley Bronzen. Gurat Singh Chahal. Lawrence Christian Francis, with distinction. Casey Height. Chirag Yagi, with distinction. Chirag is the recipient of the Computer Networking and Technical Support Program Faculty Award. Harpreet Kamari. Jennifer Pedersen. Priya Kanav Patanya with distinction Hankush Kosla Brayden Reith, with distinction. Babandeep Singh. Dilpreet Singh. Harpreet Singh. Japjit Singh. Navjit Singh. Navpreet Singh. Sindhavit Singh. Pindarit Singh. Ritvik Sharma with distinction. 
Ritvik is the recipient of the Computer Networking and Technical Support Program Faculty Award. Harmandeep Singh Sran. Gerald, Gerald Stemler. Duvril Rakishmar Thakkar. Tej Varia, with distinction. Muskan Garu. Vinit Kumar. Raksha Navroop Singh. Emirat Paul Singh, with distinction. Harshbir Singh. Ishan Sidhu. Anjali Sahota. Jaskaran Singh. Arpandeep Kar with distinction. Graduating from the Environmental Technician Ontario College Diploma, Shahid Akhtar. Michaela Amber Bodette. Michaela Amber Bodette. Jacob Douglas Belfoy, with distinction. Jacob is the recipient of the Environmental Technician Program Faculty Award and the Craig Fletcher Memorial Award. Brittany Bordage. Cody Bourget. Farah Shahudri, with distinction. Farah is the recipient of the OAC ETT Technician Award. Carly Hutchison. Gaganpreet Kar. Harmeet Kar. Manpreet Kar. Prabdeet Kar.
Rajbir Kaur. Roman Preet Kaur. Haley Markle. Benjamin John Montford. Jolly Patel. Raj Rami. Taylor Smith. Christopher James Terry. Graduating from the Game Development Technician, Ontario College Diploma. Zachary Ayot, with distinction. Yeah. Danny Dolan. <laughs> Clifford Egola. Yash Kaushik, with distinction. <laughs> Rajon Lagasse, with distinction. Rajon is the recipient of the OAC ETT Technician Award. Christopher Landry. Mason Zon E. Lee. Eric Marlowe. Charles Elaine Pearson. Brandon Pittman. <laughs> Alexander Robinson, with distinction. Nicholas Short. Evan Sullivan. Diego Andres Tong Calix with distinction. Diego Andre is the recipient of the Game Development Technician Program Faculty Award. Shane Warren. Zachary Wiseman. Graduating from the School of Continuing Education Leadership, Leadership Development Series Certificate Sandra Parisian.
Kathleen Runyons. Graduating from the Center for Corporate Learning and Performance Improvement, Building Environmental Systems Certificate Program, Glenn Day, with distinction. Jeffrey Gray. John Ross. Jeremy Rutel, with distinction. Stephen St. Pierre. The college has a partnership with Yohahio Akwasazni for the delivery of several programs. Graduating from the Energy Systems Engineering Technician Ontario College Diploma, Nelson Boots. <laughs> Jarrett Edwards. Helen Swamp. <laughs> James Terrence. <laughs> Graduating from the Personal Support Worker Ontario College Certificate Program, Carla Cook with distinction. <laughs> Emma Curat, with distinction. <laughs> Jasmine Tempest Diaz Jacobs, with distinction. Ryan Ducium with distinction. Savannah Francis with distinction. Tegarita George. Orenda Hearn, with distinction. <laughs> Sherry Jacobs, with distinction. <laughs> Amber King, with distinction. Brandy King. <laughs> Dolores Lazor, with distinction. <laughs> Brenda Oaks, with distinction. Okima Shero, 
with distinction. Sierra Shero with distinction. Stephanie Smoke with distinction. Kelsey Sunday. Cynthia Thomas with distinction. Carl Thompson. <laughs> Liz Thompson with distinction. Kayla Marie Thompson with distinction. <laughs> Graduating from the General Construction Carpentry Techniques Ontario College Certificate Program, Matthew Hamilton. Sean Lalone. Cameron Lacombe. Sean McDonald. Mark McGregor. <laughs> Kyle Ulet. <laughs> Shubham. Clifford Sternberg. Clifford is the recipient of the General Construction Carpentry Techniques Program Faculty Award. Jingyu Sao. Graduating from the Motive Power Technician Ontario College Diploma Program, Jason Anderson. <laughs> Joshua David. Abin Jos Akshay Krishna Amrit Paul Singh Minhas Manan Anik Kumar Patel. Meet Banu Prasad Patel. Arth Patel.
Harth, Kamis Lepai, Patel. Mamit Singh with distinction. Amanpreet Singh. Amarveer Singh. Darpreet Singh. Charanpreet Singh. Dilpreet Singh. Kanwar Roop Singh. Graduating from the Welding and Fabrication Technician Ontario College Diploma Program, Jared Adamson. Ben Drope. Peter Figurniak with distinction. Darcy Leach with distinction. Darcy is the recipient of the Welding and Fabrication Technician Program Faculty Award. Cody Sabrin. Joskaran Singh. Manpreet Singh. Harkomo Singh. William Sunday. Connor Uren Gilmartin. I present to you the graduating class of 2019. It is now time to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2019. Valedictorian is a derivative of the Latin phrase valdicere, which means to say farewell. Thus, the valedictory address is a message of gratitude and inspiration from a graduating student before graduates move on to pursue individual dreams. It gives me great pleasure to introduce this year's valedictorian, Cody Bourget. So Cody is a graduate from the Environmental Technician Program. 
Cody has been a student at St. Lawrence College for the past two years and was a recipient of the TD Bursary in Environmental Sciences. Cody played on the men's soccer team during his time at the college and represented the team as captain. He was also a member of the green team and volunteered his time with many community fundraising events, such as Hockey for Heart, Kicks for Cause, and Serving with Kindness, as well as the Cornwall, the Cornwall Shoreline Cleanup. Cody has displayed a great deal of leadership during his time at the college and is described as being a great teammate who motivated and encouraged. He's also described as having a strong work ethic and this clearly translated into his studies. One of his professors, Dr. Jeff Rydell, said Cody was very engaged and took particular care in performing experiments and collecting data to ensure high quality work and was very committed to the environmental technician program. Graduates, platform party, and honored guests, please join me in welcoming your 2019 valedictorian, Cody Bourget, to the stage. Good afternoon, class 2019. We did it. Woo! Welcome, President Glenn Volabrek, Senior Vice President, Academic Eileen DeCruci, Board of Governors Representatives, Cornell Campus Associate Dean Jennifer Haley, special guests, graduates, friends, and family. Over my journey here at St. Lawrence College, I've had many privileges, one of which the being a captain of the men's indoor soccer team. Mm, zero championships. What a result. Now you have to ask yourself, was it worth it? Was it worth showing up to practice 30 minutes early, staying 30 minutes late when we had homework due? Was it worth pushing every last ounce of energy out of our bodies when we had to be at class right in the morning? Of course it was, because no matter the results, we were proud of what we had accomplished. I had companions who were willing to struggle, push, and overcome obstacles with me. Those kinds of stressors forge strong relationships Relationships based on a common goal, a shared struggle. The same can be said about academia, involuntary group work, extensive lab reports, field work in the cold. We work towards a shared objective and we help each other through the hiccups along the way. And now I have at least one new friend. I knew I'd be learning a lot over the next few years, but I didn't know so much of it would come through my relationships with family and my relationships with my peers. I reflected on this as I watched famous speeds for quotes, inspiration, and even witty banter to try and replicate of what has worked well for others. I then realized I was trying to be a model valedictorian based on someone else's experiences rather than a representation of our independent academic adventure. It was clear to me that I needed to be the dignified, sharing, and ambitious person that my family, friends, and classmates had helped me become. I can attribute my academic success to three things I believe all other graduates can relate to. A strong sense of values, community, and belief in the future. The beautiful thing about these traits, excuse me, is that they already shared in relationships we built throughout life, and especially the friendships we made along the way here at SLC. Value. Assigning worth to yourself is something I want everyone here today to take with them out these doors. Finding value allowed me to prioritize the things I enjoy, exalt relationships that were supportive, and push away the less valuable ones. When fellow students showed me that they not only valued their own choices, but the choices of others, I learned that someone would always be willing to help me work towards my goals and also accept my help towards theirs. You, the friends and the family here today, unknowingly gave value to our accomplishments. From, fin from kindergarten finger paintings to elementary school fire, science fair projects. From high school sports to college graduation. You made us feel valuable, and on behalf of the graduating 2019 class, we thank you. Community. Community is a beautiful thing, and I believe that sharing can cure the soul. Our journey in academia has been filled with new relationships where we volunteer to help each other, even when we may have been struggling ourselves. Community is also visible every day in the families of the graduating class sitting here in front of you. Over the years, you have supported us when we were sick, when we needed a ride, when we were hungry or tired. You have been an endless source of love and motivation and showed patience for us on our respective journeys. On behalf of the 2019 graduating class, we thank you. 
And finally, belief in ourselves and in the future. I believed I would graduate. That is why I am here. You believed you would graduate. That is why you are here. Friends and families have let each one of these graduates know just how proud of them they are. That is why we are here. The belief that you instilled on us when we were young and had dreams of becoming a doctor, a lawyer, or police officer is the same belief that carries us forward today. The belief that we can accomplish anything we want. In fact, support from my family and friends made me believe that I could represent this year's class as valedictorian. Thank you for believing. Now, not all of us may necessarily believe in external forces, but we believed in something we could control, and that was our future. Convincing ourselves we could apply our knowledge and work ethic to any goal allowed us to build up not only enough, to, allowed us to build up confidence to not only set high goals, but to knock them out of the park. Class of 2019, thank you for struggling with me. Thank you for learning with me, and most of all, thank you for believing with me. Good luck on all your future endeavors. I appreciate everything each one of you has taught me over this past two years. Thank you. Thank you, Cody. We're nearing the end of our ceremony. Following the charge to the graduates, we will have the graduate recession. Our graduates will leave first, led by the cer ceremony marshals, followed by the platform party. We kindly ask all guests to, uh, rem we kindly ask that all guests remain at their seats until all graduates and platform party have exited the theater. Once the platform party has left the theater, please use the doors on either side of the theater to exit. After the recession, graduates, guests, staff, and faculty are all invited to the reception under the tent by the river to celebrate the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2019. The photographer will be available backstage immediately following the ceremony for all graduates that wish to take additional photos with family and or friends. Graduates, faculty, and guests are also welcome to take photos together at the photo station in Altsville Hall after the ceremony. Now to officially close our convocation ceremony, I ask Glenn Volbrecht, President and CEO of St. Lawrence College, to come forward and deliver the charge to our graduates. Graduates, could you please rise? Graduates, today you have been admitted into the proud fellowship of the graduates of the Institutes of Applied Arts and Technology of the province of Ontario, an honor bestowed only upon those who have met long established standards of conduct and learning. In the name of St. Lawrence College, therefore, I hereby charge you zealously to safeguard the professional dignity and ethics of this fellowship. Sincerely, to cultivate the spirit of inquiry and experiment. Earnestly to maintain, through study, the fresh viewpoint demanded in an age of rapid change and technological advancement. And generously to contribute in all these ways to the society around you that the dignity of all of us through you may be constantly reaffirmed. Thank you for coming everyone and congratulations to the St. Lawrence College 2019 graduating class.